Thank you and welcome. My name is Agro Kevin, and I'm going to talk about uh, uh, comparing about two paintings that Manets of Olympia and Titian of Fena's work. So, in my outline, I'll be talking about uh, introduction. I'll also talk about the Renaissance era, history of painting. I'll also talk about the Edward Manet's biography, a Manet of Orimbia, then Titian biography, and combined contrasting of the paintings. That's the two paintings. And finally, I do a conclusion. So historical time of painting, uh, there has been a revolution in terms of painting to the modern way uh, the painting has been taking place. So in before uh, revolutions, uh, the nude women dominated uh, painting of the nude men. Women, I mean, I'm sorry. In French, there were two movements which occurred the impressionist and the post impressionist for the impressionist mostly used the color they used the line form or order in painting and naked women which is mostly known as to them like naturalism the coming of painter post painters also introduced expressions in this is the way of using the painting to express feelings these feelings may be like hunger, fear, depression, and so on. So let's move and see the Renaissance here. It is perfectly described as the intellectual and the economic changes that occurred in Europe from the 14th and the 16th centuries. So it started in Italy and finally moved towards, not towards of Europe. This was the new art of writing and new styles and new thought that were included. It's also divide, was divided into two. Um, the Harry Renaissance, which started in 1401 and up to 1490, and the High Renaissance, which started at 1490 and to 1527, which is the time of Titian. During the, this time is where we found that um, the discovery or the proof of the work of money was started. So let's look at the Titian biography. So Titian is an Italian painter who was born in between 1485 to 1490. Titian was married to Cecilia, also it's known as Tiziano Vercari. Vercari. He was influenced by his paintings by uh, his teacher Grofani Berin, and there are some of his paintings that he has done, uh, like uh, Assumption of Fortune, The Worship of Venus, and others. Those, this man died in 1567. So let's also, also look at Edward Manet. Edward Manet was born in 1832 as a son of a official of the French Ministry of Justice. He was a French man married to the same. He was a pioneer in modern art, as we are going to see down there, the different works that he has been uh, able to paint at work. He also works on different um, arts like um, a part at the forest, uh, and the railway, and so many others. This man died also in 1883. So here we are going to see about. Uh, we are going to see. 
this is the woman who is lying there you can see the heads here you can see the posture how is sitting around and so on so in this woman also you can see here he has some bunch of flowers As you can see the posture from here how is the woman sleeping and in the hand is holding his high mean genital parts so also on the other hand you can see there is uh, this is the maid and um, this is uh, here you can see it's a, a, a sleeping dog and then we will see how this related to the painting so let's move on Titian Venus of Arpino was painted in 1538 this is one of the greatest lens painting it's one of the greatest actually he painted this picture basing of Georgine's work Georgine is the friend his friend it was meant to celebrate um, a marriage between David of Camerino and it does uh, there are so things that we saw in the that thing like the use of dough which symbolizes fidelity and um, it is painted at, at, as a deep city of Guriana the wife of the the wife of the Duke Duke's wife who uh, spear her behavior as a I mean the terms of Albino uh, as a continuation, let's look at the various com things that were included in the painting. Let's start by the medium. He used medium to design this painting, uh, which is oil painting on canvas. The subject is this, is that it's a marital love and the physical intimacy between a man and a wife. That's David of Camerino and his wife, Juliana. This was done purposely to commemorate the, the, the marriage between them. Composition used in painting are naked women sleeping down on the bed and another one standing as we see from the picture. Behind that there is one dog and house walls. The styles of painting uses realism and also naturalism as we can see they are is things things of reality and naturalism. The about the expression uses the concept of erotic feelings. So let's also look at the manet of Olympia. In manet of Olympia, we are going to see the poster. How this red is posting? You can see here. This is how the red is lying down. Also, another thing you can see, he has some bangles on the hands, this um, flowers, and also this is the the maid, the black maid who is there. Let's now look at the history of that. This painting is, was done by Edward Manet in French in 1863. It's also showing a nude painting of Rimbia. It was modeled on Victorine Meulent, one of his favorite models. Rimbia is defined as a revolution work of art because it comprises of modern context. Modern context. It's also showing of a uh, Parisian prostitute. This work was submitted to in 1865 salon. Until his death, uh, we are told that uh, Manet keeps this canvas on his masterpiece. So looking on how various things that were included in the, co in the painting, we found that medium used was, was oil painting on canvas composition of painting the nude woman where a negro servant flowers on the head dark background of the wall and the cat the subject was um, prostitution which is shocking and morally formal this they uses a cat 
which is a sign of immorality. It uses a card showing that the red may have had like men sex partners. As we also also see from the picture, we found that the red tries to assume flowers that are being brought by one of you. The servant with the black servant this showing that uh, is uh, uh, not accepting uh, them because maybe of one of his clients or so on so Manet used also realistic in his painting because you are able to see the real image of a old woman on his painting hence one you can able to to see some features of a real person. So in the comparison of the two paintings, we found that in looking at the historical content and so we found that Titi and Venus of Alpino uh, was done during the before the revolutionary because this is where we say that the painting of Nude women dominated. Also the work of Man to Olympia is a modern is a modern arts work because it includes some new components uh, new components and techniques of uh, designs and so on. So in this one uh, it it depicts the old young woman traditionally identified with the Good goddesses Venus. So the other on the other side, um, the message is to encourage courts and all prostitution because we have seen uh, from the from the picture that the woman, the posture of the woman, the way the woman is looking, staring and, and confrontational and so on. So another is. In the other Titiana of Venus, we found that it's showing love and intimacy of husband and his wife. So on the other one, it's the 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 on the each hand the the head is not down and she's angry because of those things of immorality and about um, about uh, prostitutions. Uh, on the other hand, we found the uh, Olympia also praised the uh, Olympia's priests were farititious because they are painted so brightly that her nipples are not clearly visible. Meaning, the use of the light differs because on the other Titanian Venus they use the uh, the light which is uh, dark somehow, and on the other side they use the light which is a um, bright light that you are not able to see some of other features like the nipples of uh, the breast of the olive. As, um, as similarity, uh, we found that uh, in both cases they, they used the naked women Long, long on the bed with white sheets. As you can see, both of them, they have those characters. They have uh, the same pesky pose. As you see, they are, all of them, they are using pesky pose because you can see them sitting and holding their genital pets. There, there is house pity on the bed alongside each woman, uh, each woman, because for the teen, City and of Fenders of Alpino, we found that it's a dog on the other side, we found it's a cat. And these two things, they have different symbolism because in the dog, it shows the love, uh, it shows fidelity, when the other cat shows immorality. So, so we find that uh, on the other side, they use. Uh, they use uh, a maid serving them. So in the maid serving them, with, uh, we have seen uh, the maid giving them a bunch of flowers, and um, one is black, another one is a white, a white maid. So as a conclusion, 
Orimba Manet was a design depending on fairness of Alpino. As, as we have seen in the history that this work of uh, Orimba Manet was in, improved the work, is a modern work that was initiated by the fairness of Alpino. We have seen that uh, these two paintings, one was painted in the Renaissance in 16, between 14 and 16, and another one is the time of 19th century, which symbolizes that this was modern. Their composition of another, in, uh, their composition are close one another. We have seen them using realistic uh, as a um, realistic and some styles like naturalism in both cases. So thank you for the good attention. Okay.